my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are kicking off the week with a spring decor haul. I feel like I have quite a bit of stuff here to share with you that I have been kind of shopping for throughout the past couple of months as stores have been starting to put out their spring decor. Now I have already shared a Hobby Lobby spring shop with me in haul video, so if you haven't watched that, Go back and do that because we not only shop through Hobby Lobby, but I share with you a lot of the pieces that I picked up from there at the end of the video. So I'm not going to reshare those items. However, I have since gone back to Hobby Lobby to grab just a few more things. So in today's video, I have some Hobby Lobby, Amazon, Target. What else do we have? Kirkland's, which is one of my favorite stores. And I think that's about it. You know, shopping around here is very limited. We do not have a lot of your everyday stores. However, we do have a little bit of a road trip planned this coming weekend. And I might try to get into a Michaels because I'm still on a hunt for a really cute little bouquet of daisies to go with my wall art that I picked up and maybe a few other things. So there are a few things on my wish list still. However, uh, this is the majority of the spring decor shopping I do plan to do. Now, after today's video, we are going to jump in with some spring decorating all over the house. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see how I end up using all of these pieces. But let's just jump right in. I'm surrounded. I went very heavy on the florals this year. That's been a huge gap in my spring decor over the years. I've really struggled with <laughs> decorating with flowers. So I tried to kind of, I don't know, what's the word? Ramp up my florals for this year. So I have a lot of florals and greenery to share with you. And then of course, you know, Crystal cannot resist a good pillow. So anyways, let's jump in with Kirkland's. I actually did not go into store this year. I did all of my shopping online. So I don't have a Kirkland spring shop with me this year, which is so sad, but I still managed to find a few good things to share with you. So the first thing I grabbed from Kirkland's was this glass lantern. Now last year I actually had grabbed a taller one that has the same texture, clear, and I wanted to get a smaller clear one this year. And so I found this one. It is beautiful. I love the pattern on it. Definitely something that we can use year round in our home, which I definitely plan to do. My plan is just to stick a battery operated candle in it and we are good to go. So I picked up this. The price I already took off. I'm not sure why I did that, but I mean, it was maybe $12. Everything from Perkins I made to, sure to grab when it was 25% off. I think it was, was it over President's Day weekend? I don't know, it was when they had a really good sale that I ordered a lot of this stuff. So first thing is this lantern. The next thing that I had ordered from Kirkland's was this eucalyptus wreath. Does it say? Yeah, it's like forget me not eucalyptus 24 inch wreath. Now this is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it up close, but it has some baby's breath intermixed in there. Not too much, very light, but just a really pretty simple wreath for a pop of greenery. I feel like over the years I have over decorated with magnolia wreaths and I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, okay, it's time to find something else. So I had seen this a long time ago in the store and then I just decided to order it. So I got this wreath, really pretty. You've probably already seen these pillows in the background in a lot of my videos already, but I did order two of these. I think they're calling them like a chenille sage pillow. They have a very light fringe to the outside of the pillow. They are filled with a down feather pillow, so they're perfect if you like to chop them. They have them in a few different colors, I believe, but of course I'm obsessed with this color right now, so I grabbed two of these. While we're on the topic of pillows, I have one more to share with you and then that's it for the whole haul no more pillows but I actually wanted to order this last year and by the time I decided to go for it it was it wasn't going to arrive in time for Easter I was like you know what I will just hold off but they had it this year I decided to go for it how cute and of course it has my color on the back so I could really I just thought of this use this right now and then when I decorate for Easter flip it around but I just love the little bunnies on it cottontail farm super cute how much was this does it say $24.99 but of course everything was on sale how much were these I kind of hid the price inside I don't know I don't can't find the price right now but I will make sure to link what I can down below in the description box so one Easter pillow most likely we'll just go by our front door on this chair that I have so I also ordered this spring market sign 
It's wooden. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love it. So I definitely plan to use this in our kitchen. If you know my pantry wall, where I have to do like a thin sign that kind of slides behind our barn door, this is perfect for Easter time. So I grabbed that. Did I say it was $24.99? Also $24.99. And I have one more Kirkland's item to share with you. It's large though, so I'm gonna take you over <laughs> to share it with you instead of me try to hold it up and it just won't go very well. So let me show you that. I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit with this one as I try to add more art into our home. But it's this very large, as you can see, sage-ish green landscape. I think they call it like a serene wall art. Hobby Lobby has one super similar. I would say that the Kirkland's one is maybe a little bit lighter in color, but just this really pretty coloring to it. I actually have a few places in mind that I might use this. As I've been thinking about staging our home for when we are going to put it on the market, I really want I don't know, to have a little bit more art in my collection to have out in our home. So you'll notice I will probably be adding more art here and there around our house as we get closer to that. But yeah, a couple of different options as to where I plan to put that. We'll see when I start decorating where it ends up. And then as I sat down here, I realized I had one more Kirkland's thing. It might be one of my favorite. I don't know. They're all my favorite because I love this store so much. But I had ordered these and they're in a box they are um, breakable we'll say but they are these set of six sage-ish kind of sage more towards just green really decorative balls whenever I say balls I just <laughs> laugh in my head. I'm a kid at heart I guess I don't know or I just need to get out more these are really nice. Now, if you go into store, you can actually buy these individual, which I would have probably done if I was in store, but online you have to buy them as a set of six. And so they are a little bit pricey. However, these are really nice. I love them. So you get this one. And like I said, these are very heavy and ceramic. They are not plastic. They are very nice. Here we go. This one. They also have a set of black and white ones, which are also very pretty, but you know I cannot resist green. That one. Now, if you watched my Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul, you might have a slight idea what I plan to do with these. So many ways to use these. These would be cute even on a tiered tray. That's not what I'm planning to use them for initially, but I mean, when I'm changing up decor and trying to use things differently than I have, that would be a really good option. So yes, grab me some balls. So that's all the Kirkland's I have to share with you. I had talked about my last vlog. I think it was my last vlog. All the candles are kind of my new thing. I always check out their section when I go through there usually stop about once a week. And so I had found that St. Patrick's Day candle for $4. Now this one I feel like was more closer to six, maybe $6.99 or something like that. It was kind of an odd number, but I fell in love with the holder candle container it was in. It kind of gives me hearth and hand vibes without being hearth and hand. And the scent is lemon macaroon, but it is a one wick candle. They have lots of three wick ones, but I just thought it was really pretty on its own. And the smell is great too. So I grabbed one candle from Aldi. I really don't need a ton of candles right now, but this one would be very pretty on a coffee table or a side table, which is probably where I will end up using it. Just very neutral. Again, something that would work year round. So let's talk Hobby Lobby. I think that's the next closest item to myself. One random thing I shared in that haul video when we went to the store and shopped was an umbrella. Well, they put out more and I have to show you this one because we as a family are all obsessed with dogs right now. And they had, oh my gosh. A dog umbrella. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> so cute. Oh, little dog heads all over it. So 
Their umbrellas in the spring shop are normally $17.99, but of course they're 40% off, so very good price. Those, those would be so cute in an Easter basket though too, so kind of a good spring item to grab for Easter baskets. Going along that theme with Easter, I picked up one more bag of these little white speckled eggs. Super cute. I figured, okay, so these are normally $5.99, but of course the discount. Um, I figure, you know, I'm going to be decorating with more color for my Easter decor. So as far as like filler items, like carrots, eggs, those I feel like would be cuter to be just like a good neutral color. So just grab some of these white speckled eggs to decorate with. I plan to do a whole separate Easter decorate with me video, probably towards the end of March. I cannot believe Easter is April 17th, I believe. Yeah, it's crazy how far out Easter is this year, but I am here for it because the earlier Easter's, it's always freezing here. We're out doing Easter egg hunts in the snow, so the further out, the better, in my opinion. So, yes, I do have a few more Easter from Target that I'll share with you once I go through Target, but Hobby Lobby. Another thing I grabbed while I was there, when table decor was on sale, were these little ceramic houses. These are so fun. I love the look of these. They have, again, that kind of stoneware look to them. This one's probably my favorite. Really good size for the Target mini tier trays. These are normally $6.99, but of course, 50% off when you go during table week. I also grabbed the taller house. It's kind of like a more narrow, a little bit taller. They're very cute together, but I don't know where it is right now. I was probably playing with it somewhere on a tray and then yeah we'll i'll find it eventually but yeah these are adorable if you could find them also in that same kind of tableware section that was on sale i went ahead and grabbed this black vase i love the uniqueness of the handle it kind of gives you that jug vibe but i am really into florals and greenery and just really trying to step it up in my planters and pots and vases so i thought this one would be a good one to add i love using black around the house as well so this was normally 21.99 and again this is something that doesn't really spring like it's not super springy in my opinion but when you mix it together with some of these greens and whites and wood tones it'll be really pretty and i can use it year round so grabbed one of these and as I've learned throughout the past year shopping at Hobby Lobby, they're always still putting out new things. So the spring shop, there's still new things coming in. Same with like Easter. And so I always kind of roam and check things out. Well, they had just put out these, I would call this a planter, wood planter. I know these are super popular right now at other stores for way higher price but I picked up the smallest one because of course it was the cheapest and um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Most likely I'll have some sort of arrangement in here on a shelf, super unique and just kind of cool. So got this wood planter, normally $29.99, 40% off. And then the last few items are like florals and greenery. I grabbed two of these more, are these hydrangeas? I really don't know sometimes what I'm doing with florals, but I grabbed two of these. Now these are some of like the larger long ones, so really pretty in like a floor vase, but I plan to probably um, trim these and make a fun arrangement out of them. So grabbed these, very pretty. I also love the color of the leaves. I don't know. I just like that color green. So got two of those. These were full price at $15.99. And then I grabbed three, the last three actually of these. I may have grabbed more if they had more, but it's good to grab threes anyway. So it worked out. These are normally $6.99, but I really like the color of the leaves. And then you have that purple seeded detail to them. So not like super florally but still some color added to them so i thought those would look nice together and the last thing from hobby lobby it was one of these i feel like you want to i want to call these the pilea is that how you say it i know i'm probably butchering it but i love the ones that come with just the one stem and all you have to do is like pop it in a basket or a vase and it looks good well this one i need to fluff a little bit but i just really liked the greenery on this one 
you can see. I like the dark green look, the shape of the leaves. We'll see what I end up. It'll probably, I feel like it would look really good in a basket of some sort. So I might end up doing that, but I'd actually never seen these at Hobby Lobby before. And so I just grabbed one to start, but who knows, maybe I'll go back for more. I, I don't think I'll need to though. So got one of those, did I say 20? Yeah, 20.99, but of course, you get it half off, but still, it's kind of pricey for what it is, so that's why I only grabbed one. I did run through Walmart as well. They were still putting out Easter decor. I didn't really see anything that I couldn't live without, although it was cute. I have a lot of Easter, though, so I'm trying not to buy all the bunnies at this point. You'll see I did grab a few at Target, but... Anyways, and then I did grab one thing at Dollar Tree. I kind of wish I would have grabbed two, but I just grabbed one. $1.25 now, but I saw this little pack of green moss bunnies. I don't know, tear tray probably. And then Target always comes through, especially in the dollar spot. Last year, I don't know that I did a full on Easter tear tray, but this year I do want to go all out on an Easter tear tray. I think last year I did more of a springy look, but I want to do a whole separate Easter this year. Did you really need to know that? I don't know. Here, here we go explaining more <laughs> so. I grabbed a few more little Easter things I couldn't resist. First of all, they had a few. These are kind of, yeah, they are called medium. I think they came out with large ones too, but I did not need any large. But I grabbed two of these little wooden looking bunnies. So two of those. These were $3 each, which is kind of pricey for the size of them, but... I don't really have any wooden little, oh, his arm is broken. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a little piece right there. You probably can't even notice, but yeah, I guess they are breakable. So be careful with these bunnies that look wood that aren't. But yeah, kind of pricey at $3 a piece, in my opinion. And then they also had these little mini wooden, wooden bunnies. I can't even talk. These were $3 for a two pack. So I got the small and the mediums. I did not get any large ones. They also had these three pack of little wooden signs. So cute. I actually have a larger sign that came from Hobby Lobby, I think, maybe a year or two ago, but this actually goes with it, or it's like the same thing. And then you get the carrots and you get the little check bunny. Now, if you aren't into decorating with orange, I have seen some people have painted this orange carrot like a gray color and that looked really cute. So you could do something like that if you did not like the orange, but got the three pack for $3 tiered tray. Of course, I also grabbed, I stood there for a while, this little bunny container. If I was like, you know, you need him. So grab this little bunny. It's like glass container cute on any sort of tray you can put some candy in it i might, might even just leave him empty and pop him on a tray and then a few like non-easter related i picked up one of these little green candles they had in the dollar spot three dollars it kind of hurts to buy some of their candles because three dollars seems like a little bit much but the green got me i also picked up two of these little ceramic planters they're only a dollar and I thought these are so cute I thought they would be three but when I saw they were a dollar I picked up a white and a black they also had the green color but again I don't want to go too crazy with the the green so again good year-round pieces if there's something that you have that you don't like the pot it's in you could easily stick them in this these are great tiered tray size which is probably what I'll do so got those and then just a few other things from Target nothing major I actually picked this up a long time ago right when Hearth and Hand launched their line after Christmas I had or, or no I actually got this in store with a Christmas gift card and I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it for decor or just to actually use, but I'm leaning, maybe both, honestly. But I picked up this Hearth and Hand watering can. It's very pretty. It kind of has that aged brass look to it, which I don't have a lot of. And I actually don't have any cute little watering cans to use in my spring decor either. So I think I have an idea for this, which you might see come up later this week in my spring video, so. Yeah, if not, I will use it, but very cute. I had to reposition myself. My leg is falling asleep. I'm like, okay, I can't feel my foot anymore or my leg for that matter. <laughs> but also from Target, I picked up one of these ceramic pitchers. 
Now they have these year round in the store, but what I like about this one is it kind of has some, I don't want to say aged, but it has that stoneware look again to the edges. Like a hint of like that creamish brown color to the rim. Very pretty. I just really, it has that sour cream look that they use on a lot of the hearth and hand pieces. But really pretty to just stick in some flowers for spring and summer. And yeah, so just a good kind of staple kitchen decor piece. This is by Threshold. Yeah, it says Threshold Stoneware Pitcher. So got a pitcher actually ordered this bowl online my store did not carry it but it's actually really pretty it's just a white wooden bowl it kind of gives me that coastal farmhouse vibe but also depending on what you put in it I mean you can make it work year-round so this is also I think threshold decorative wood bowl I also ordered part of the Studio McGee line a, I don't know if you want to call it a planter or a vase or a pot, whatever, but I plan to stick some flowers in it. It's supposed to arrive later today, so if you stay and watch till the end of the video, I'll maybe put together a little bit of an arrangement and share with you what that looks like, but I'm kind of excited about it. I've really been in trying to invest more in just different vases and pots that I can just switch out the florals and greenery throughout the seasons and so yeah I'm happy about that it's just not here yet to share with you I have some things from a local shop as well as Amazon let's do Amazon that's what's on top now I actually couldn't believe this when I went through my spring decor bins last week that I did not have any of these I'm like what everybody on YouTube has these so I ordered them and they came the next day, so extremely fast shipping, but I ordered a bundle of white tulips. So much nicer than what I saw in Hobby Lobby. These look way more realistic. Uh, I just love the texture of them. There's also a better deal than what you'll find in the Target dollar spot as well. But I have some pink tulips, some smaller ones, but I do not have really any white one so I got a bundle of these and they come together with this little ribbon around them and I would say if you order them leave them in the ribbon because you can honestly just pull them out they bend really easy so you can make them look even more realistic in your vase or your pitcher for that matter I love these lots of different colors but here's what they look like in that target As much as I'd love to pick up fresh flowers every week, it's just not realistic. So Amazon for the win on the tulips. Now tell me this, do you consider lavender to be a floral, greenery, a, what's the other word I'm looking for? Herb, that's the word I was looking for. What do you consider lavender to be? Because last year I was calling it floral and then I got corrected. I don't even know what to call it anymore, but I love lavender in the spring. I think it's so pretty, especially with a lot of neutrals. It just really pops. So I have quite a bit of lavender I plan to decorate with. And I had seen these on Amazon. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are adorable. So you get a set of two. And I loved the little ceramic vase that they come in. It almost kind of looks like a white woven basket almost. And then you get the lavender out the top. And these are honestly the best size for tear trays. If you have the Amazon tear tray that I'm always decorating, these fit perfect on the bottom, which I'm always looking for things that will fit in there without looking crammed. So yeah, I plan to use this for sure on my Easter tear tray and maybe even a fun spring one as well. I'm gonna be sharing lots of tear tray ideas. So that is coming up and I left one in the box just to show you how cute they are. So you could even buy one for you and one as a gift, which is what I might do. I might actually give this one to my mother, <laughs> but they come with these little boxes with a little heart opening and you get just a little glimpse of what is in the box. So I think I'm actually gonna set this one aside. So mom, you have one of these coming your way, but they are so fun. And then the last stems I picked up off of Amazon were these six pieces of eucalyptus. Now there's some eucalyptus that I just don't like the look of it. I don't know, call me picky or strange or weird, which I am all of those things I feel like, <laughs> but anyways. You get six of these, and these are just a perfect little accent to, I mean, put in other arrangements or on their own. 
I just like the shape and the color of these leaves. And again, also very good reviews on them. They're kind of like a, I wouldn't call them extra long, but you get a medium stem for some of your taller vases that they would work. I did, I went crazy on the greenery and the florals this year because my decor definitely was lacking in that category. One more Amazon thing to share with you, and it is this blanket. I had just searched, I wanna say I searched like Barefoot Dreams dupe. Not like the most fancy packaging, but it's a lot cheaper than a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I was really just looking for a more lighter weight throw blanket to have in our living room, but nothing too light because it still gets kind of chilly when you have the air on throughout the warmer months. So I wanted to find like more of a creamish or ivory looking throw, but again, it comes in lots of different colors. Reviews were kind of back and forth. Some people really loved it. And then there were others who did not like it. I would say my first impression is I like it. Just opened it up and my camera is probably gonna go dark on me now because that's kind of what happens. But I don't know, I'm impressed with it. It's not shedding all over me. It's a very decent weight. It's not super light, but it's not thick either. Does that make sense? <laughs> a good spring weight blanket so yeah lots of colors it's machine washable and I guess I'll keep you posted on how it all goes but so far I think it's a good find the last few pieces that I have to share with you came from one of my favorite local stores she sells just a really wide variety of like antiques and new decor thrifted pieces it's really fun to look through and she really inspired me as I walked through her store to kind of step up my spring decorating for this season so if you're local she's in the mall definitely check her out if you can but anyways I found you're gonna laugh at me more florals I don't know I just really liked these um I hadn't seen something like this they remind me almost like baby's breath but they kind of have that springy vibe to them really liked them they kind of have like I don't know they just really complement some of the other pieces that I picked up when I put them together. I also went crazy for these little yellow flowers that she had in the store. I haven't seen these before, but they're just like cute little bud vase size. Adorable. I have one right back there too. So yeah, pops of yellow and purple most likely will be happening in the spring for me. So I got those. And then also in her store... I had picked up one of these, I had stuff sitting in it, now it's covered in stuff, but I picked up a dough bowl. This one is kind of a medium size one, but I think I'm gonna use this on one of our side tables in the living room and do a fun little display. I don't know that I have anything. Oh, here's some of the yellow flowers. But like you can just stick like a fun little flower in it and maybe a candle. I don't really have anything good around here. This looks terrible, but do have just a fun little display on one of my side tables in the living room. And again, this is something I can use year round. But I think that's everything I have to share with you for today's video. There's a couple of things that haven't arrived yet. And so once they do arrive, I will just share those with you as I start decorating for spring. So make sure you are subscribed. Stick around so you do not miss all of the decorating videos to come. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.